Hey guys, so I know I promised to do it ages ago. It did not work out as well as I wanted. Um, unfortunately, I had to do a lot of uh, moving and this whole coronavirus just came up and um, just took ages to do um, anything with all of my plans, basically. I had to cancel a lot of my workshops and um, as I had my studio closed because of the move so it doesn't look like it's gonna go back to uh, normal anytime soon and I'm just hoping that we all gonna get into a much better easy uh, place hopefully very soon um, in a minute while I was thinking how about we all just keep on sharing on on our um, pages and I think a very good way to just keep things going is simply share old photos because I know many of you don't take sessions anymore and won't have any bookings soon so just keep on sharing and keep on showing that you are still there keep yourself still in uh, your clients uh, mind and I think when things would get better we will pick up again and everything will go back to normal a good way to do it is just simply take one of your um any of your old images of your uh, previous clients and just keep on sharing and sorry keep on editing your images into new digital backdrops and i think that would keep your page fresh and generate a bit more interest and um, I think it's just a good way to make sure that your page is not really dying out because of the lack of movement and um, algorithm change and all that. Uh, here's a quick edit. I just wanted to quickly show you how I'm going to edit. I'm going to show you the um, love heart backdrop right there. And here is the um, one of my, uh, just an old photo I have. And I'm gonna go on my layer mask right there. I got the layer of the baby on top of the layer of the backdrop and with 100% um, opacity, I'm using my brush on black color right there. There you go. So let's just quickly delete everything from all of the area right there. I can't even see what I'm doing on this side. There you go, so trying to work as fast as I can just because I don't want this video to be too heavy. So I'm changing my, um, my brush to slightly more like hard. Keep going around the baby. And we will go deeper and deeper on the baby um, outline. So I'm going to zoom in quickly, make my brush slightly smaller. I'm going to go right there. I know I'm not being very exact. But that's okay. Just bringing this one back a little bit. All right, keep on going. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to take all the black out, and then I'm going to sort of like build it up gradually. If that makes sense. I just want to have a bit more control of where the shadows will go. So I first want to take all the shadows away. A bit bigger. And then I'll decide where I want to put it back. So it's a little bit time consuming, but it's really not that bad. It's just go around quickly and don't have to be super exact because just remember we will bring some of it back. Okay, 
that's it so we kind of went back to where we started from I got my finger on my X um, keyboard because this is the fastest um, way it's just a shortcut of going between um, black and white just remember that one okay don't have to be too exactly the same so right now it looks super 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 paced right okay so I'm gonna go back to my backdrop clicking back on the backdrop layer right there and I'm going to use my shadow action if you don't have a shadow action just use um, you could just use one of the um, burn tool or something like that just creating something to create shadows so I first want to I want to oops wait back on my there you go so I first want to create just my shadows I want to create the shadows that I want so I'm not taking it from the layer of the baby I'm just using my even this bigger brush just to there go and right there in the opacity you can just like boost it a bit higher so right now it doesn't look so good I'm gonna I'm gonna use a smaller brush um, not too small and play a little bit with the opacity just to make it look slightly less fake okay and just sort of leave it on areas like this little um, corner right there usually in corners it's where you would get really nice good shadows and the shadow here come I know it this side looks a bit darker than this side but it's just because of the curve of the inside of the love heart so the shadow actually falls on this side slightly less opacity and just to make it look a bit nicely sort of masked okay when I'm happy with what I got let's just take this one off so you can see what I got I kind of painted around it and when I feel like it looks okay I'm gonna go back okay I'm just gonna move this a little bit here when I'm happy with it I can just like merge it down I usually just immediately merge things down because I don't like having lots of layers but that's just me you can just leave it there and now I'm gonna go back to my layer mask and I'm just going to I'm on a 29% opacity which is fine and I'm just going to use my white brush to basically bring back some of these shadows now so it's basically the blanket the black blanket that we took um, the photo on and I'm just going to use it to create a bit more shadows here and there so this time I want the shadows to look a bit darker so I'm using the blanket to just make it look like there's darker shadows there you go and that's pretty much it so what you see right there would be almost my final um, my final um, edit one second that was a bit too much I'm gonna do a little bit more on this side and the other thing I would suggest now when I'm happy with it I'm just gonna go on to um, my newborn image not the layer mask and I can just use because this is a little bit sharp here so I'm just going to make let me see the strength I'm 100% okay so I'm just using the um, uh, the blur tool to make this area here look a little bit less sharp and if I zoom in here there's a bit of a problem right there which I can fix just a little bit of liquify and I'll fix that because the um, black blanket was on top of the um, the leg there just making the just the edges of the leg right there and that's I don't know it kind of bugs me that area there just making it a little less sharp 
and if you feel that the skin tone I think that the skin tone right now looks perfect but if you think that the skin tone could do some adjustments um, I usually use my accents and I use um, yellow filter and then I adjust it from there but you can also use um, where is it color balance right there you look, make sure that you are clipping mask by clicking on this little button right there and then as you can see it's creating created that clipping mask and then you can just adjust the skin tone maybe less orange I liked it when it was um, pretty orangey but let's just say that this is uh, the skin tone that you're after then all good I might even keep it I don't know now I like it more orangey I like it like that all right, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to flatten this image, and this is the final edit, and that's it. So thank you so much, and if you guys have any other questions, let me know. At this stage, you can just feel free to, I don't know, throw another layer of um, a filter on the top or, or something that makes you um, feel like the image is improved. I usually use my Sweet Summer as a final um uh, kind of like wrapping up my edits with that one because it kind of creates a really really nice skin tone and um, I just love I just love it on all of my my backdrops that's like my favorite must go must use um, action so yeah I still like it in here and I'm going to flatten the image with this one and that would be it so thank you so much again and see you soon bye